six consecutive games, 7-1 and one on the year. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dick Stockton. What a rugged month this has been for the Phoenix Cardinals. This is the fourth straight game in which they are playing a division leader. Obviously, they have to be affected by the controversy surrounding the Martin Luther King vote concerning the Super Bowl in Phoenix. And uh, Merlin Olsen, I think a bigger distraction could be the conditions today with an incredible wind here at Orchard Park. A howling wind, Dick, that's going to dominate this game, particularly when you're going into the wind. Kicking and throwing the ball will be an adventure here today. Both offensive coordinators have adjusted their game plan. Less passing, more running, perhaps short passes, but not a heck of a lot going along. No problems for the Bills. They used to be called the Bickering Bills. Uh, everything is working for them. They're on a roll. What's behind their banner year? Several things. Certainly one among them, the maturity of Jim Kelly, who has really had a great year, his best ever. And he's using his weapons so much better this year. You look at this team, you see a lot of stars, and they're playing outstanding football, making the big plays. We're going to keep our eyes on a couple of those stars. Bruce Smith for Buffalo will be matched up today with Lewis Sharp, another All-Pro on the other side of the line of scrimmage. That's the matchup that we'll have our eyes on here today. And Merlin, the weather is already played in effect. The wind chill is 29, and the wind gusting between 21 and 26 miles per hour. The Phoenix Cardinals have won the toss, but they have elected to defend the goal to the left. So wind is playing a factor, and they will kick off to the Bills. Second in completions in the NFL and the third rated passer behind Phil Sims in Joe Montana. The offensive front, Will Wolford, Jim Richard, Kent Hall, John Davis, and Howard Ballard. He's a big one. Keith McKellar is the tight end. The Bills' backfield features outstanding running back Thurman Thomas and Jamie Mueller. Andre Reed, he's great as a wide receiver along with James Lofton. Cardinals, who went to the 3-4 defense four games ago, Freddie Joe Nunn, Jim Waller, and Rod Sadler are the three men on the defensive line. Anthony Bell, Eric Hill, Garth Jacks, and Ken Harvey. Outstanding pass rusher. Cedric Mack and Jay Taylor are the cornerbacks, and Lonnie Young and Tim McDonald the safeties. Smith out of the backfield, where he's a good receiver. Kelly has a strong arm, but this wind will even eat up a ball from a strong arm quarterback. And the inside handoff to Don Smith. Smith looks like he's got the first down. He needed to get to the 47. Eric Hill brings him down, and the Bills maintain possession. The uh, offense for a loss, as they did on that last play. Third down and seven. Out of the shotgun, Don Smith. In again and running back. Three wide receivers, and Kelly loses the ball. And, the ball and it looks like a Cardinal is going to pick it up. And it is. It's Cedric Mack, and he's going to go in and finally get stopped inside the five-yard line. Cedric Mack picked up the fumble. Left-hand side of your screen. Watch the movement here. They're coming with the all-out blitz, and it's right there. The cornerback blitz blew the ball loose. Cardinal had a chance at it right there, but Cedric Mack not only gets the blitz popped, but picks it up. So Cedric Mack will get credit for the sack on this blitz. Look at the ball, loose right at the beginning and rolling out of Kelly's hands. Johnson again, bites his way close to the goal line and no sign. He has stopped short of the goal line and it was Shane Conlon who came in to meet him. Merlin, the crowd, Joe Bugle told us last night he thought would be a factor, Big Field. We've already told you, Louis Sharp, an eligible receiver on the left side. Big opportunity to go up in this ball game. They want the TD here. And the give is to Johnny Johnson, and he slices in for the touchdown. So the fine rookie out of San Jose State has given the Cardinals an early lead here with his fourth touchdown of the season. So the lowest scoring team in the NFL, the Phoenix Cardinals, have jumped out ahead of the highest scoring team, the Buffalo Bills, early here in a shocking beginning. It's Phoenix 7 and Buffalo nothing. In motion comes Andre Reed and Thurman Thomas on first down, goes up the middle. And Thomas being chased from behind and brought down by Lonnie Young. There's some great blocking up front as this hole opens up. Center inside, that's Davis 65, Hall 67 doing a great job. And Thomas with exploding acceleration, blasting away. Lonnie Young 
showing you excellent speed, gets a hand on his back and finally strips him to the ground. First down on the Cardinal 28, and Thomas going outside this time is written out of bounds and hit hard. And a gain of a couple, Lonnie Young in on the stop. Easy task. Mueller is now the lone setback to block for Kelly, and the pass is caught and maybe intercepted by the Cardinals. McKellers have the ball, and it is Phoenix possession. Anthony Bell will get credit for the interception. Takes the pass. Now, question, does he have possession? He controls it. He hits the ground. I think they may look at this one. I don't know that he had full possession, but he needs one foot or a body to the ground. Let's see what we've got here. Is he controlling the football? Yes, he is. And once he hits the ground, he has possession. And it's, and it is, that's a fumble. Yeah, they're going to they're they're look, look at it at anyway. It. Right now, as they lead it seven to nothing. Louis Sharp, Derek Kennard, Bill Lewis, Lance Smith, and Tootie Robbins, the offensive lineman. Walter Reeves, the huge tight end. Johnny Johnson is the lone back. Tim Jordan, the H back. Roy Green and Ernie Jones, who's in for J.T. Smith, out again with an ankle injury. They're the wide receiver. Bruce Smith, who's teamed with Leon Seals and Jeff Wright up front. The linebackers. Cornelius Bennett, Shane Conlon, Carlton Bailey, and Darrell Talley. In the secondary, Kirby Jackson, who's nursing a hamstring pull, and Nate Odoms are the corners. John Hagee, the free safety, and former Cardinal Leonard Smith is the strong safety. Cardinals on the 29. There's Leonard Smith, and Johnson will lose a yard. A crunching hit by Bruce Smith and company. Bill has come in as a wide receiver. He's in the slot to the top of your screen. An audible. Johnny Johnson going outside, and nothing there. And Shane Conlon read it perfectly. J.D. Williams, the rookie, is one of the defensive backs in for the Bills. Kroll has some time. But it collapses, and Jeff Wright, the nose man, has a sack for the Buffalo Bills in a loss of eight yards. Run is precisely, and you need that on a day like today. Third down and four. Don Smith in the backfield, Al Edwards, and it's Smith. Carries. He's got the first down. Edwards, a rookie, in at wide receiver, and Smith again running on an inside handoff. Tim McDonald making the tackle. Was disappointed in his team's performance last week. Jamie Mueller, the one back now on third down and six. And the quick pass is complete. McKellar's the tight end, and he carries a few defenders into Cardinal territory and a first down and a gain of 22 yards. Lonnie Young finally brought down McKellar. And that is the end of the first quarter here at Rich Stadium with the score. The Phoenix Cardinals seven and the Buffalo Bills nothing. Scores in those last two games, 69 to 10. Wow. Third down and nine. And the pass to Don Smith. He's got blockers in front of him. He's got the first down. And nailed. And nailed hard out of bounds at about the 20 yard line. Nailed Don Smith at the end of this run. But that's a good play. A couple of blockers out in front. Richer is one, 67 Hall the other one. <laughs> Taylor, who actually came to the Cardinals as a result of the trade that brought Leonard Smith to the Bills. Bills have been able to drive all day. What they need is points on the board. Kelly over the top. Metzelar is the tight end, makes a tough grab, but he's pretty tall at about 6'7", and he grabs it inside the 20. No contest there, but the scoreboard has something else about it. Third down and six, and the pass wide open. McKellar, touchdown, Buffalo. Side of your screen, number 84, McKellar just going to take his man outside and then just easily leave him there. Lonnie. And the score is tied. An impressive drive by the Buffalo Bills. And they use just about all their weapons to tie this game. Cardinals. Rosenbach getting pressure from Cornelius Bennett. And he's down. Smith will get the sack. But Bennett came in from the right side and very nearly got Rosenbach. And a loss of six yards on the play. Penalty marker is down and will wait. Done by Smith and Bennett. 
Rich Camarillo will kick. Al Edwards. These kicks will not travel far into this breeze. Oh, he, he bobbles it. The ball. Loose ball. Camarillo and the Cardinals are looking for possession. That's all they want. But it's going to be Buffalo's ball. And a big break for the Bills. Steve Tasker, I believe, on the recovery. And there was not a rush on the play. They were going to let him kick it, but they've always got someone coming after that punter. Out of line as it comes in here, and Camarillo, with those cold hands, just couldn't handle it. There's Tasker right there. The man on the spot knocks the ball loose. There is the pressure. This is a team that works hard at trying to block kicks. Well, they're not coming after this one. They have the return on, but as always, one man there, and that man happens to be one of the best kick blockers and one of the best special teamers in the NFL. You know, you wonder about the intimidation factor anyway. They were setting up a return when you're a punter looking at the films of NFL. First and goal on the six. Kelly gives to Thurman Thomas. Thomas driving toward the goal line and gets to about the one. We saw Garth Jacks make an excellent penetrating tackle earlier in this game. It looked like he was going to have another opportunity at that. The last 12 trips inside the 20. Third and goal. No action. Touchdown. Butch Roll, the third string tight end. What a great job of selling the play action. Watch how the fake here brings everyone inside and roll all alone out there. And of a turnover by the Cardinals. And with 9.25 remaining in the first half, 14 to 7 Buffalo. Second down and six, Reeves. Goes strong side to the right on the 27. And we may have another encroachment penalty against the Bills. If so, it would be the third time in this first half. Defense. Five yards. Second down. That was Leon Seals, who's played very well at defensive end this year. On the 32-yard line for the Cards. Johnny Johnson looking for the first down. Lost his footing and may not have it. Johnson dives forward. It'll be close. Johnson has carried all 11 Phoenix plays. One of the officials just lost his hat, and he gave up on it. <laughs> it was blowing down into the end zone. It's blowing hard enough he couldn't catch it. He came back to the sideline. There, there it goes right there. You don't think the wind is blowing here? Adios hat. Well, the cap got a touchdown. First down, Cardinals on the 33. And play a big draw pass. play. And the pass to Roy Green. He's got it into Buffalo territory. He was wide open. Nate Odoms makes the stop and a gain of 21 to sometimes a forgotten man, Roy Green. To dinner last night with him. He picked up the check. <laughs> On first down, Johnson protecting the ball. And there's the kind of moves that have made Johnson the best rookie rusher so far. He gets inside the 40-yard line on first down. And doing a good job of driving the ball. Second down and three. Johnson close to first down yardage again. And it was Bruce Smith. Goes down for no gain. Third down and six. It's a blitz coming. Rosenbach trying to get some room. And the pass is overthrown. Intended for Ernie Jones, and that'll bring up fourth down. So, I want to remind you that the wind is in the face of the kickers, so Rich Camarillo will come in to punt it away. Lydell Mitchell retired as the Colts' career leader in rushing yards, but his college running mate had an even greater pro career. Who was it? Larry Zonka of the Dolphins? Franco Harris of the Steelers? Or Tony Dorsett of the Cowboys? Which would you choose? Although not as renowned in college, Franco Harris teamed with Mitchell at Penn State. If you said Harris, you made the right choice. They're coming in trying to block the kick. And they ran into him. 
but it's not enough for the first down. Sikahima trying to get loose and down at midfield, but a penalty marker down, a five-yard penalty will be marked off. And he'll also get the two-minute warning. They're at the 49-yard line. Rosenbaugh up the middle, completes to Reeves, the tight end. The extra effort may give him the first down. The clock is running, and now we'll have our two-minute warning. Pressure on Rosenbaugh. The pass is blocked by Ricky Prohl. He was hit hard as well by a couple of defenders, particularly Darrell Talley, the linebacker. Penn from the 38-yard line. Rosenbaugh trying to run out of danger, and he slides short of the first down. Four yards shy. And he's down at the 32-yard line. The clock continues to run. Cardinals still have one timeout left. Hand off to Johnny Johnson. And he stopped short by a yard. And the Bills will take over on downs. Let's watch Buffalo's defense work in short yardage situation here. About two and a half, three yards to go. And Johnson has done a great job of picking up that kind of yardage all year long. But he can't do it here as Buffalo's defensive linemen and linebackers flow quickly to the outside and shut it down. Early with an ankle injury, it's a sprained ankle, and they've taped it in the locker room. Kelly's pass going deep to Don Beebe. And the Bills have a shot for at least three. Jay Taylor on the stop and a gain of 48. For the game, he said, I wouldn't be afraid to tie one from 60 with going with the win today. Beebe in the slot, playing for Andre Reed. He's the fastest of these Buffalo receivers. Uses all of his speed right there as he gets away from Jay Taylor and gets way down the field. Down on the 24. Maybe two. Don't be surprised to see him go for the end zone here. Kelly's pass. Caught. Touchdown. Steve Tasker. Steve Tasker. But that's exactly who gets this football. Running in the slot to the left-hand side, and I think Kelly had him all the way. Cedric Mack, number 47, ignored Tasker for just a second. That's all Kelly needed. And the first touchdown catch of his career, Steve Tasker, who was picked up on waivers from Houston and a kick blocker, he caught a big one. Have a healthy... Halftime lead, and that is the end of the first half here at Orchard Park with the score, the Buffalo Bills 21 and the Phoenix Cardinals 7. Buffalo area, so are the Bills, and the Bills have responded, leading 21-7 to at halftime here at Ridge Stadium. The Cardinals actually scored first. They took advantage of a turnover, and Johnny Johnson scored from a yard out. Quieted the crowd. After that, it's been all Buffalo, and they took advantage of a big fumble by the Cardinals. They certainly did, and it uh, happened from an unlikely source. Rich Camarillo played a lot of football up in New England, and he's very used to playing in the wind. But the winds here at Buffalo got him. Cold hands and a breeze. The ball blows right out of his hands, and Tasker is there to knock it loose. The Bills, of course, took advantage of that opportunity to punch in a go-ahead touchdown. And actually, it's been a game totally dominated by the Bills, even when the Cardinals had their lead. They have totally dominated the uh, yardage. The weather, of course, has been a factor throughout this game. There have been three turnovers already, and uh, there have been scores on two of those three turnovers. But as we take a look at the total yardage, Buffalo really had it going from the start. Well, they certainly did, and although the... Phoenix Cardinals were able to punch in that early touchdown and take advantage of a turnover there. In fact, two Buffalo turnovers in the early part of this game. They have really racked up the yardage in this first half. And Jim Kelly came into this game second to Joe Montana in completion percentage in the NFL, and what a first half he had. He was 10 for 11 in last week in the first half. He's 8 for 10 here, and throwing in this kind of wind, those are enormous stats, great stats. And look at the TD count. Three TDs in the first half here in this ballgame. They need to compensate for it. Right now, the Bills are going to have to overcome a huge penalty. First down and 20 on the 18, and Kelly is down. And the rain, you talked about how the freezing rain, we may be having a sleet storm right now here at Orchard Park. 23. Six defensive backs, and they're going to run the ball to Don Smith, and he's got an opening. And Smith is short of the first down. 
The whistle had blown, and that'll bring up fourth down. Smith did pick up 13 before Tim McDonald stopped him. Line drive kick. Not a bad kick. Sikahima. And he hit him. Oh, it's kind of kick. Hit Sikahima, and the Buffalo Bills recover on the 31 of the Cardinals. Steve Tasker again with a huge special teams play, a second of the day. Is in the game. Thurman Thomas, a receiver. And Thomas has it, and it's up eight yards. Second down and two, Thomas, and driven back. It was Jim Waller, the first to reach him. He lost yardage on the play to make the change. Third down and four. Kelly, short drop, pass dropped by Thomas, and he was covered downfield by Garth Jacks. Was that ball touched at the line? It looked like it may have been tapped, or maybe it's just the wind, which, although the snow has abated, the wind has not. They're not even thinking field goal here. Four punt. Cardinals went for it on fourth and four at the end of the half. This pass is caught for the first down. And the ball is dropped and again. And it's picked up by McDonald. And let's see if it's Cardinal ball. Apparently it is. It is Cardinal ball. Don Beebe caught the ball, and it is dropped and picked off by McDonald. So, and it's first down. That was a fourth down play. So the Cardinals take over on down. Rosenbaugh under pressure. And has nowhere to go except out of bounds. Out of bounds. And a personal foul against yep. Seals. Seals hit him out of bounds, and it'll be an automatic first down and 15 yards marked off. 21 to 7, Buffalo. Johnny Johnson finds a hole and picks up good yardage to the 41 yard line, a gain of five. Darrell Talley, one of the inside backers, on the stop. Johnson. And he's got the first down. Good move by Johnson, cutting up the middle, short of midfield. And Carlton Bailey on the stop. What a year for Johnson. First down at the 49-yard line of the Cardinals. Sprinting out. Tipped and caught. And that pass is complete to Ernie Jones. But it was a tip pass and a pickup of nine yards. They'll go to the bread and butter. Johnny Johnson breaks a couple of tackles. Continues to impress everyone. A first down to the Bills 31 and a gain of 12. Carlton Bailey and John Hagee on the tackle that time. So next. Second down and eight on the 28 of Buffalo. No play action, but he's going to throw, and the pass is caught. And that is going to be a touchdown. And Ernie Jones has grabbed it. A touchdown for the Cardinals. And they're back in the game, a 28-yard strike to Ernie Jones, his first touchdown reception of the year. A chance to look from the right-hand side of your screen. Ernie Jones streaking down in a post pattern, comes to the inside right here, and there he is. Watch how close to the ground that football was as Jones scoops it up. Good. So with 7.42 to go, the Cardinals trying to take advantage of the wind at their backs have scored and now trail the Bills by a single touchdown. Being on the coast, sometimes they lose their toughness when they get out there. We'll see. First down on the 28. Thurman Thomas going outside. Gets good yardage. Thomas gets the first down and more. And Cedric Mack with the hard tackle. But not before Thomas picks up 19 yards. Talking about Kenneth Davis still in the game, carries, going off the left side, ridden out of bounds, short of the first down by about a yard, Tim McDonald there. It looks like he may have picked up the first down or very close to it. No, he's going to be a little bit short, but with the jumbo unit in there. Jumbo package, and the give is to Davis, and I don't think he's got it. It's all in the mark. He may have it, Dick. Very, very close. All in the mark at this point. And Jim Kelly covers it back Ooh. in midfield. He'll lose seven yards that time. Carl Hairston had jarred the ball loose. 
Second and 17. Kelly's pass. Hit to Lofton. That's his first catch of the game. On a slant in inside the 40-yard line. A gain of 12 yards. Jay Taylor on the stop. Short of the first down. Right in five. Big down here. Kelly Hill. Lofton. Big play by Lofton. Wow. Means so much. There he is, number 80. He is in the slot here. Just a chance at the top of your screen. Watch him now. He starts inside and breaks outside when Kelly is in trouble. He looked back for the defender, knew exactly where he had to go, and just gathers that football in for the first down. Huge penalty and the fumble to keep this drive alive and eat the clock. They run the ball up the middle. It's First down, Buffalo. A very important drive for the Bills. Going into the teeth of the wind. Tim McDonald on the tackle. First and ten on the 17. This is the tenth play of the drive coming up. Thurman Thomas. Darrell's inside. Ken Harvey on the stop. And here's Thurman Thomas off the weak side. And Thomas inside the ten. Short of a first down by about two yards at the most. Eric Hill on the stop. Opportunity that the Cardinals have to use the wind at their backs. Just a defense arrest. A bobble by Kelly and the handoff. They do not get the first down. Rod Sadler on Thurman Thomas's handoff, and that'll end the quarter. Holder, Frank Reich is holding. Backup quarterback. Adam Linger is the snapper. The kick is good. And the Bills add to their lead. Three seconds into the fourth quarter. And we'll return to Rich Stadium after this message from your local station. You're watching the NFL on CBS. I thought you could only play with one. I don't know if I've seen that ever in my time. In Rosenbaum, the first down, overthrows, intercepted by John Hagee. And Hagee brings it back. Deep into Cardinal territory. First interception for John Hagee. And simply rifles the football over the head of his receiver. And Hagee, who plays sir, as deep as any in the NFL at that free safety spot, is simply waiting to pick this up. Watch the center fielder, number 22, John Hagee, just waiting for that ball to come down. Roy Green couldn't have got that one with a step ladder. And that's John Hagee's first career interception. And the third turnover against the Cardinals. And Bill. Thurman Thomas. No, it's a fake. Kelly's going to throw. And it is touchdown, Buffalo. Don Beebe. Fake. And look at how many Cardinals are stacked around Thomas. Kelly, all times of time to throw. And Beebe able to wrestle that ball out of the hands of Cedric Mack. There's Cedric Mack, 47, BB coming across, and Mack has good position, but he simply could not get the ball out of BB's hands. In Buffalo. Tremendous contributions showing the Buffalo Bills depth at its best today. You've been talking about the effects of cold weather. Well, you made me put on these gloves. Why? <laughs> well, one of the things that's very interesting to me, you see a lot of the players wearing these gloves, especially the receivers. Well, they've outlawed stick them in the NFL. Stuff that the receivers used to put on their hands, it's in the gloves now. It's in the, These gloves are tacky yeah. gloves. Very, You can feel it as you put the, your fingers together. Helps them catch the fall. Lofton, a few minutes ago, hanging on the football. I think that helped him. And if you're a Buffalo player, there's something else. If you're doing high fives during this game, it doesn't hurt us That's much. That's right. Let's do a low five while we're at it. <laughs> Bob threw an interception. Last possession. Johnny Johnson. Fumbles. And the Bills have recovered again. And they've broken open this game and are threatening once more. Headline of the Cardinals. Less than a minute into this fourth quarter. And Kenneth Davis. Ridden out of bounds by Lonnie Young inside the 20-yard line. Davis. 
Well, Dante Osborne had the first shot out of bounds, but he's got the first down. Change names there. <laughs> but it doesn't matter who scores. You get no. the points anyway. First and ten. Davis. Davis still going inside the ten-yard line. And they took the early lead. Second down and two. They go to Davis again. He's got the first down to the five-yard line. For when somebody's going to go down with an injury. First and goal at the five. And Davis ooh, sent back. And in the slot, McKellar. McKellar the tight end. Here's the pass. Complete penalty marker down on Lofton. Cedric Mack has had a tough day, Dick. Coming in from the top part of your screen, number 80, James Lofton streaking inside, and Cedric Mack had already grabbed him, wrapped his arms around him before that ball arrived. Mueller and Davis, and it's going to be Jamie Mueller. Touchdown, Buffalo, and they roll it up on the Phoenix Cardinals. And wow, the fight is broken out. Ooh. Butch Roll of Buffalo, he was involved earlier. Rod Sadler in the middle there. They've got to separate him. I've often thought that's where officials sometimes earn their money. I'm going to fumble. We've had a lot of them today. And then two touchdowns at the end of this ballgame. And as we approach the end of this ballgame, I think for some of the players on the field, they hope that gets here pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. It is getting colder out there. Terrence Flagler checks in. Number 32 out of the backfield for the Cardinals. Rosenbaugh down. He was being chased by Bruce Smith. And he'll get the sack, his third of the game, 11 on the year. One of the things that makes Bruce Smith so dangerous is the fact that he can spin out of those situations. We got another fight going on over there now. Boy, this game is erupting into a nasty affair here at the end for both of these teams. It's already five kicks this year. Oof. Tied with Kansas City for the lead. Now look at the scene. Oh. Look at Camarillo just praying that he can get his hands on the ball. Ooh. I wouldn't want to be the center here either, trying to snap it back there. Connie Kawhi is the guy who's going to get in the football. Standing at the goal line is Camarillo. I don't know how our cameraman can keep the camera straight. There's the wind knocks it down. It bounces at the 26. And the Bills will have the ball at the 26. Third down and five at the 21. Right, nowhere to go. Beat up cards. He said, we needed a new one. <laughs> He's in good with the law enforcement folk. Kenneth Davis carries the ball. And that'll turn it over to the Cardinals. A pro bowler and all pro safety. And that is a little bit frightening. Final numbers. And he shouldn't drop too much from the high ranking, should he? He has an excellent spot as a passer in the statistics of the league. And I think those numbers will boost him up. Four TDs, one interception on the day. Impressive again how well he was able to handle this bad weather. Marv Patton, number 53. Third down and five. And the pass overthrown, intended for Roy Green. Oh. That kick doesn't go much more than the last one, and it takes a Buffalo roll out of bounds inside the 40. Quarterback, Carwell Gardner. Gets the cow call again and drives the pile a few yards. Elston Rigel getting a chance for the Cardinals defensively up front makes the tackle. The 31 yard line with 310 remaining. Gardner not going to make it. Freddie Joe Nunn wraps him up. Gardner. Ooh. He's got the first down and more. And he stepped out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Good enough for the first down. Mitch Farratt with a good block, a gain of 14 yards. Buffalo, and I'm sure the Bills are glad to have him. Gardner carries and still going. 
Kenneth Davis in it running back on third down and two gets the call and won't get the first down. David Bavaro on the stop as we get close to a minute remaining in the game. Four missed tackles. Well, this game ended several minutes ago, obviously, and the Cardinals not playing the kind of football they played in the first half of this ball game by any means. Advantage of the conditions extremely well. So for Merlin Olsen, this is Dick Stockton saying so long from Rich Stadium, where the final score, the Buffalo Bills, 45, and the Phoenix, 14.